Okay, this tutorial quickly show you how to uh, install NetBeans 10.0 that has been uh, released two days ago. So let's go to Apache NetBeans website. Then um, now it's up here, it's up JDK 11 and uh, PHP, JavaScript, Groovy, and uh, some of the issues has been fixed. Okay, go to download. Then um, just download binary. Okay, that means installation is straightforward. You can unzip it to wherever you want. Um, personally, I prefer to keep it under program files. So I will just drag and drop. Just uh, unzip everything you need. You may ask you a couple of questions, but uh, basically say OK or try so that it will override it because I already have NetBeans 9.0. I expect to see some uh, uh, some additional uh, messages so that I may need to uh, confirm it next few few minutes. Something like this one, uh, I can just replace. I may need to give certain permissions to override uh, some directories. Again, uh, it's uh, straightforward. Okay, now let's go to NetBeans directory. Um, then you go to bin, which is a binary. And uh, I'm going to launch NetBeans 64. Again, I expect to see some some message to say that uh, I may need to upgrade the plugins. Again, here I say that I need to import it. So, of course, I will import. My answer is yes. Okay, um, some of you may not see this message because I'm using JDK 8. So um, I guess I need to upgrade to JDK 11. So install uh, NetBeans Java C. The next, agree uh, with the uh, uh, agreements. Some of you may have uh, um, some message saying that um, you need to upgrade the plugins. Okay, finish. So now you can see I actually using uh, NetBeans 1.8. So I may need to, to make sure that NetBeans can launch itself with uh, JDK 11. So, okay, to set uh, NetBeans default behavior using uh, JDK 11 or other versions, you can just go to etc NetBeans configuration file. Because I upgraded, so it has been uh, replaced with the default setup. So you go to um, line number 80, then um, let me just say um, JDK 11. Okay, just copy the directory, then here uh, replace it uh, with this uh, parenthesis. Of course, you need to remove the comments. So that it will be um, it will be visible, or you can override the default setup. Okay, uh, I think you may need to um, open it with, as an administrator. Okay, so I will do the same thing. Remove the commands, and then uh, make sure JDK Home is on the C drive. Java JDK 11 this uh, depends on what you have. Okay, let me launch the NetBeans 10.0. Then let me uh, double check a few things. 
go to plugins, make it share business up to date. It. Okay, seems okay. Then uh, let me go to options. I personally prefer to use a bigger font on screen. So default is actually 14, but you may change to 16, just like mine. In the comments, I personally prefer not to use gray, which is very difficult to read. So I change to magenta. And then I'm also using JavaFX, so make sure you set up JavaFX if you, if you need it. Okay, this time uh, let's try to code very simple program, then uh, compile and run it. So just here, system and out and print here and hello world. Just print one single message to console, compile, and uh, run it. Let me quickly check whether I'm learning NetBeans 10.0 with uh, Java 11. I'm actually using OpenJDK. So yes, I am using uh, Java 11.0.1. So before I end this tutorial, let me quickly show you how to set up shortcuts to desktop. Just locate your NetBeans directory. Okay, now you go to binary directory and uh, NetBeans 64. You can make a shortcut to desktop. Then uh, I recommend you to name it as a NetBeans ID 10.0. That's actually a default name. Okay, that's all. Um, 